Hi, welcome. Synthesizer B Studio 2 Pro has arrived, and we would like to introduce you to the many new features and improvements since version 1. Today, we will learn about the vocal modes feature and how to utilize it to make your vocal performances fit perfectly in your projects. So, let's get started. Okay, once you're inside the software with a voice chosen and some notes and lyrics inputted, pressing on the voice panel icon will reveal our new and improved vocal modes feature. Each voice inside of Synthesizer B Studio 2 Pro has a unique set of modes that you can tweak in order to make their characteristics match with your track. As you can see, in version 2, we have knobs instead of sliders. I like this since now it kind of looks like the module of a synthesizer. But please keep in mind that all changes made inside the vocal modes feature will only affect the whole group that is selected at that moment. So now you can have different groups with different vocal modes inside the same track. But what's even better is that now you can expand each mode in order to just take the pitch, timbre, or pronunciation from set mode, so you can create an infinite amount of combinations to really customize your voices. Let's listen to this example. I'm using Felicia 2, a quite versatile and powerful female voice. It sounds good, but I want it to be more performative, like an opera, so I'm going to increase the operatic mode to reach that vibe of classical music singing style. There you go. Let's listen to it. Okay, okay, I like where this is going. I just think it needs more power. I want to harness that vibrato it has a little bit more. So I'll just increase the pitch and timbre from the powerful mode. Okay. Okay, now let's give it a listen. Perfect. I love it. Now I want to create a different voice for this second part that contrasts with the first one. So this is the combination I ended up with. Kind of airy, bright, with a little bit of musical timbre to keep that glow through. Let's hear it. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> but of course, sometimes we just want to have different vocal mode changes within the same group, so it's necessary to automate them. We are going to use the parameter panel for that. Clicking on the plus sign will add a new one to the interface. Here, you can edit and automate with different curve types and tools the vocal modes configuration, like this, for example. Now with the line tool. Okay, now let's erase this. And not only the vocal modes, but the bass parameters also. It's important to highlight that all changes are visible in the knobs of the voice panel. So, let's hear this example. I'm using Liam, one of our most recent voices with a very sober and mature tone, perfect for soft or powerful vocal projections. Set me up high in the sky at night Show me the stars and fireflies Tell me your secrets and let them shine Show me the light inside your heart Okay, I think that the star has to be more calm, kind of whispery, but then it has to bring out all that heavy mode forward in the performance. So, let's try that. 
Okay, another important thing that I would like to highlight is that whether you increase the whole knob or just some specific characteristic, the parameter panel will take that as a base for the automation. That's why you can see some green lines after the white ones. Okay, let's hear it. Set me up high in the sky at night Show me the stars and fireflies Tell me your secrets and let them shine Show me the light inside your heart Okay, I really like it. I also work on the background vocals as you can see here, so you can really get as creative and detailed as you want. Let's hear the complete example and notice how the knobs in the voice panel change. Set me up high in the sky at night Show me the stars and fireflies Tell me your secrets and let them shine Show me the light inside your I love it. <laughs> okay, let's see a final example that shows how many variations we can get with this. For this project, I have Kevin 2, a perfect voice for all types of pop music and ballads. I also have 902, a great singer for rock or metal songs, and Felicia 2 as well. Okay, let's give it a listen. Look in my eyes, can you see my secrets? Tell me how can I reach the other side? Got this rhythm and I just can't stop when I got this rhythm and I just can't stop when I got this rhythm, but you know you're in danger. Look in my eyes, can you see my secrets? Tell me how can I reach the other side? Well, as you can hear, I use some automation for Kevin's part. First made it very belty, like an up from voice. And then before the drop, a little bit quieter. You can notice it here. Also, including 9-0 really gives it that much needed punch to the song, making it more bouncy. At the end, I also tweak the gender parameter to add a change format or sample sounding effect that works great when creating this style of track. Okay, so today we learned how to use the new and improved vocal modes feature, how to set the different combinations we have available and automate them so that we can make the voice flow as naturally as possible throughout any song. So, see you in the next video.